Brought to you by Lightspeed Aviation, the premium a &R headset from the innovation leader. And by XMWX Satellite Weather, full weather perspective on any device you choose. Hello everyone, this is Larry Anglosano reporting from Sun and Fun 2013. Over the years at these shows, we've seen desktop simulators come and go, but this year Redbird Simulations is showing an interesting take on the product. It's a dedicated hardware device called the Jaybird, and it can be loaded with specific training scenarios. Here's Redbird's Jeff Van West to explain it. So what these scenarios are doing is they're taking something that has existed for a long time, it was in Flight Simulator 10, called missions, but it's putting a whole new spin on them in that they're not games, they're really geared towards pilots. So I'll give you a tangible example. You want to come into Sun and Fun and you've never flown the Lake Park or Arrival, you're a little intimidated by it, well now you can fly it on the J and it's not just you fly over the area and there's the runway and you land. As you approach, we have someone in the cockpit with you helping you along and saying, hey, you ought to tune the ATIS now. You tune the ATIS, you get the real ATIS and find out which runway's in use, and it's not always going to be the same. If you miss your wing rock over Lake Parker, ATC will ask you to do it again. And you'll go all the way through the process, switching frequencies, listening in, down to the runway. If you turn too late or you're uh, going to put it down too early, keep it flying high wing, keep it flying to the green dot. I told you the green dot. And you actually get to land and taxi out. So coming in here, I actually flew the Lake Park arrival about 30 times before yesterday, being in an airplane and flying it for real. Believe it or not, for me, it was actually the first time on that arrival. It was like I had done it 30 times before. The other things that's unique is we have content for this J coming from lots of sources. So in addition to the Lake Park arrival, we have articles from magazines like AOPA Pilot, Flying Magazine, IFR Magazine. We have King Schools producing scenarios where John King is in the cockpit with you riding along. We have pilot workshops with their IFR Mastery program. Now you can not only watch the scenario, you can actually fly it. And this kind of thing isn't just a one-time deal. We're working with all these organizations to provide new content every month and actually trying to build a whole community of vendors providing content, including virtual aircraft and weather and so forth for this device. Here at the show, Sennheiser's running a special promotion because we recommend their headset to go with the J. If you go to several locations around the show that either have the J or J-related products, fly some of the scenarios there and get it checked off on their challenge record, you're entered in a drawing for a free S1 passive headset and a ride with the Aerostars. Hardware for the J is sold through the AOPA store. You can also go directly to my-j.com and find out more about the whole product and the community we're building around it. Brought to you by the Bose A20 Aviation Headset with acclaimed noise reduction, clear audio, and Bluetooth connectivity. And by Bendix King by Honeywell. Bendix King listens to pilots and translates your passion for flight into products you want.